Hello everyone. So welcome back to this channel once again. And in this video session, I'll discuss now lower case we are characters in Google. Let's see the values in C programs. Where one, so where one basically here we'll discuss that uh, whenever we define a variable, we okay. ideally sometimes initialize the variable with some value. So that value can be either uh, uh, caps that is upper cap case value or it can be a lower case value so if you want uh, always to be upper case value so what okay, approach we should we take any either we should define uh, that statement with the that upper case text we are not able to see the value it can be defined with the variable lower so case value as well however we will actually receive the upper case value so let's see so end of with one example so this example and I have created have. let me show you let's see so here you can see this is a simple CL program where PGM and NPGM is defined within that we have some declarations of the variables and what we are doing is we are basically evaluating where let's 1 2 3 2 3 4 5 6 where 4 and these are 4 5 6 one more is variable seven. Now here you can see all the variables are of same length, same type. Now variable 1 is defined is an or initialized with value test so that is caps, we will be able to upper case and debug the source. Here you can see var 2 is lower case we'll be able and to within quotes in and var 3 is lower case and this is not within the quotes. Now whenever var 1 will have so always the point at line number one now upper case value. just scroll it now where two is basically surrounded by the quotes or you can see the apostrophe so uh, now this will always be passed where as where the one is the small case is correct so even that if you want expected uh, sometimes to be uh, okay this is not like use upper case so but we define like this and then this in this case we'll see the small case value that is the lower case value now if you want to receive the upper case value and even if we define it with the lower case we can define it like this so we should ignore define like this with and that is enclosed within the quotes we can define the value like this it would always be passed as the upper case because the system will itself then translate this value to the upper case so we can choose to either write this or write this whenever we want the value to be in the upper case so let me just compile this just take 14 option here debug view is source so that I can debug this is compiled just debug this let's do end debug first Case one. So let's wait so that we can debug this and we can actually view the value which is initialized in those variables. So just set the breakpoint and call this program. Now, if we see var1 is test that is uppercase and that is what expected from this line. Now, this would always be the small case value. So, you can see this is the small case value. The system in this case uh, will not translate this to the uppercase or you can say will not be able to translate it to the uppercase because it is surrounded within the quotes. Now the last one, the var3, as you can see, this is also a lower case value, but the system will now translate this to the upper case because this is not uh, within the code. So this is the best way to use whenever we want a value to be passed as upper case, or either we can choose to do this. Just check. So you can see var3 is test which is uppercase. So system translated it. 
actually so that's what the purpose of this video and this example so this example basically shows you how we should approach uh, while initializing the variables in the serial so that the lower case would be translated to the upper case that's all